welcome, this is Hose. And in this video, we're going to be continuing what we did in the, in the previous one, which we basically did the material design toolbar. But this time, we're going to be adding the fancy effects. If you haven't seen the previous video, go and see it, because we're going to be continuing where the last one just stopped. Leave it because we want to create something more realistic and all the animations are going to be done in the first slide this is the video that i was talking about in the first one that this is where, where things get complex but this is where things look beautiful and that that's what we're going to do in this one we're going to continue the first thing is to go to the second slide so we're going to copy our elements i'm going to paste them and we're going to group them remember that you can group by pressing ctrl g or command g in mac and we're going to move them out of view and this guys over here they are uh, they are already grouped if we come here to animations and click here in animation pane we see that they have this sort of animation that i left in the previous video and then we're going to click the effect options make it to the left because we what we want to do is to create some sort of scrolling effect that when the bar moves to benefits the whole thing moves with it we're going to move it and the move we have to place it out of the viewport altogether and in this one we're going to do the same thing we're going to create add animations no no we're going to be more intelligent than that we're going to select the whole group we're going to come here to animation painter we're going to click an animation painter and we're going to click on the group itself. This is going to copy the animation. If we click here on play from, we can see that the bar moves and this thing moves. And then the whole thing moves. What we want to do is to make this three move all together at the same time. And for that, we need to select them all. You can click on the first one and then shift click on the, on the last one. And it's going to select all of them. You're going to right click on it and hit on start with previous except for the first one first one start and click because if we do not press it we do not have it on start and click it's just going to start automatically we click here we're going to have the preview and press spacebar and as you can see all of these things start to move together to make the effect more realistic we're going to select green group one and we're going to have it the same duration as rectangle 4. I believe it's it's one second there we have it if you click rectangle 4 you can see the, the duration here and we're going to have the same duration what this do, does is that once you come here to the slideshow and you click spacebar you start seeing how the effect starts to pan out you you're st now, as you can see, the, the thing here is not that centered. We have to move it. Again, this works for any version of PowerPoint that you have starting from 2007. I don't think that 2003 had the motion effects, but 2007 definitely had it. Let's go back and move it. As you can see, things starts to get really complex because, first of all, we're just animating simple things. Imagine when it gets to more to different objects we are having the we're having them group imagine what would happen if we didn't have them group for a second second thing is is that we have to place them into a specific position see how the second group it's more of a trial and error thing because powerpoint does not have a pre precise tool that allows us to Say hey, after the after the, the the line animation, I want you to drop and stop here. It does not have that. I wish and I would love Microsoft to implement that feature, but I think that we're going to have to wait for a long time for that. After we have done that, this is where it gets really tricky because we have to do the same thing with the third slide. I'm going to come here to the second one, and we're going to paste it. I'm going to paste it on top. But before pasting it, let's group it and paste it here and we have to do the same thing now one huge lifesaver which when i discovered this my life became much easier is to come here to home click here and arrange and selection pane selection pane is like your god with this you can click and the elements get selected 
but more importantly, you can turn them off. Now that you have select, now that you have set the animation for the group A, you can turn it off. And guys and gals, this let's let's turn group two for a second. This is where the true triangles you can see in here. You can also name them, name them for you can say slide three, slide two, just for reference purposes. Again, this is another layer where it, it gets super complex. You remember the slide two group that we had in here? Now we have to add another animation and add as a line animation. That that's gonna stay that's gonna start. Let me add the effect options from the left. We have to move this thing where it actually ended. The other one ended, and then move this one to the other side. One shortcut that I was thinking while I was talking in the previous video is that instead of applying this animation, we could just create the same object, copy and paste it, and, and make a combination of effects to make it look seamless. I know that I, I just spoke some gibberish. I'm going to show you what I mean. But first of all, let me, let me, let me finish with the, with the traditional effect. If we come here to animation pane, we start seeing this slide too. With this, we need to make it again, duration one, and, and we have to apply the same technique that we did. We have to do it for benefits as well. Now we have to come here, add animation, lines to add another animation, make it right, and click here from, no, 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 it should be the green arrow. The green arrow is the one that we're moving. We need to move it out and we're going to move the green arrow again to where the red one used to finish. This gets, this gets tedious in older versions of PowerPoint, such as Office 2010, 2007. And I don't remember very well if 2013 had this good mechanism for making it look like this, this preview thing when you're moving. Let me get rid of the selection pane momentarily. And I hate this. You see this thing? It doesn't want to stay on, on its line. Just, just make it, makes it awful. We have to, let's leave it like that for a while. And the red one, nope, nope. Here, where are you? That is that the red one? That's the red one. Oh yeah, that's the red one. Should have moved the Come on. We have to move the green one. Move the red one. The features. Man, this this sucks when when he doesn't want to ah, stay in the line. Even if you press shift, it doesn't work that way. And there's no way for you to okay oh it stayed it stayed okay it's not perfect i kind of i do not like it but that's what we have now we're gonna go back and focus again on the animation pane we're gonna move rectangle four before slide two and we're gonna make slide the duration back to one one second slide two we're gonna make it start with previous and let's click here in slideshow let's start then I go to benefits, features. Okay, this definitely is not working. Let me see why is this not working. Oh, okay. So I basically moved the first one and not the last one. Let's see play from. Okay, that's that's working exactly as how we want it. Whoop. You see, you start. You have you started to see how the animation starts to play out? Play out. It's going to look way better with pictures. I'm gonna do another video in which I'm going to replace the the squares and the triangles and the circle with an actual picture.
and the difference in effect it's going to be night and sky B benefits and now I want to go and show features you know the drill now we have to we have to come back here to home arrange selection pane one tip which is going to be a huge time saver you're going to right click selection pane and you're going to click here on add to quick access toolbar with that it's going to be added here on the top you're just going to click on it and it's going to appear what we want is to enable back our let me see this is the fly three which is still not animated animations yep i thought i had it disabled what we want to do is come back here to animation pane slide two yep and we want to add the animation but before doing that let's let's use our brain a little bit and slide three is selected you want to click here in slide two and the reason why we're clicking here is because slide three is on top of slide two and if we click here it's just going to select slide it's slide three well this one it kind of selected slide two but it doesn't matter you're going to click here and animation painter going to click here in slide three and this is going to apply the animation to slide three wait this added twice no 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 what are you doing no close slide three and what is what this is going to do is that it's going to copy the animation from slide two to slide three but but i don't know if this one just copied the right one we're just going to figure it out click this one yep so that's it as you can see the effect is is created by combining a series of motion path i'm going to click here and compare benefits features and that moves us to the next slide let me delete the second the second okay I'm gonna copy the last slide copy then paste it they do not look aligned no they're not i'm gonna align them first align middle to align them group them and then I'm going to move them more or less to the same position that they are. If you want to be super precise, I'm going to show you a quick technique, which is you can right click in here, come here to format shape or size and position, depends on the version of PowerPoint you have. And here on position, you can have the complete position of, of everything. If you copy and paste the same position from the from the elements, if they have the, the same bounding box, and by bounding box I mean this line with the how many? Eight eight circles? This transparent line that you see in here, or this outline, that's the bounding box. If they have similar bounding box, you're able to just copy and paste those values into here, and it's just going to work. Gonna make it 14. It's not that. Maybe if we just put 13.9 down. 4.95, 98, 99. Oh Christ! Come on, 14, 14. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> not not now. And with this one, you're going to do group three. We're going to select slide three and we're going to do the same thing animation painter come here to group three and just gonna copy what slide three had gonna come rename group three to slide four computer is kind of glitchy right now i have no idea why gonna save the document and this one we want to start and click wait wait a second Wait a second. It didn't apply it. Now it did apply it. Slide four. Gonna click here, play from. Okay, you see that it started to move with with the with all the elements, but that's not what we want. Want to come here again to compare and do exactly the same thing we did. We're gonna click add animation, lines, effect options right 
and do the same thing. I know it's awful, but that's the way it is. Click on the green one, move it for the red one, stop. Then, oh my god. No, no. It's this one. And move it here to pricing. You see how tedious it becomes when you're, you're trying to... Then, come on. No. Come on, you gotta... Oh, center. Center! Center! This is just plain awful. This is just awful. Microsoft should have the same thing for... Should make a recommendation. No. Come on. Come on. No, I'm, I, there's no way I'm gonna spend the whole video trying to make this. You, 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 you guys got the, got the drill. I'm gonna probably make an al alternate version, which we can. Ah! Okay, I hate it. The, everything needs to to be high quality. We're going back to animation paint slide four. Move it below rectangle four. Make make rectangle four one second of duration. Slide four, and remember what we did from slide two, that we added an animation from the middle? We have to apply the same animation and make it to slide four. I don't know if we can click on it. Let's turn off slide two, leave slide three, and then add animation to slide three. Click in lines, effect options, left. One thing before I forget, do not add the animation through here because what it, it's, what it does is that it overrides your current animation. If you want to edit your animation, you're more than welcome to do it through here. If you want to add a new one, go through the add animation pane. Once we have the slide three selected, we click, let's hide slide four. Makes it easier to edit. Click back slide three and just select slide three in here. Going to grab the green one, going to add it at the end of the red one or at the beginning of the red one, then move the red one. To move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Okay. And have the duration back to one second. We're going to right click, start with previous, and we're going to enable slide four, slide three, and group eight again. Let's let's try it out. Ha <laughs> ha! That's excellent. We're gonna come, slideshow, and this is the true effect. You can see as it moves, everything moves, but it's a pain in the ass to get it right. And this bar over here, this this little culprit. Have to fix you. No idea what, how. Another disadvantage of this method versus the the other one is that this method it is not printable by itself. If you want to print your slides, if you want to hand them out, this is not going to work. See all these things all together. For starters, these three things are not showable. They are not displayable because they are off the canvas. But anyways, it creates a very good effect. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe for, for more, and let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. I think I'll be covering different things from now on. But before, I need to finish the, all these slides. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in, in, in the next one.